Alright, quick update on Algorand. So we are breaking down with the markets today. Uh, Algo is probably one of the, the biggest movers today. We're down about 10% as of the time of recording this. There's some other big movers today, but Algo is really, really getting hit hard, which is a shame. I was initially eyeing this up for a long. Uh, we were talking about if we did flip bullish from this and we back tested and then started to head up, we'd be looking to, uh, to long this. But we came back for the back test, completely failed, didn't get any continuation, didn't really break above the previous invalidation point, and that was that. So I'm sitting on the sidelines for Algorand right now. It does seem like we are breaking down out of this triangle pattern. You can see we've been in this triangle pattern since the 30th of April, banging around in here. And as I always say in my videos, a failed move equals a fast move in the other direction. What does that mean? Well, it simply means um we had an inverse head and shoulders here so let me check that i've got the right price target yeah we do so this was the price target of the ascending triangle that we were currently in and the price target should have been up here at 91 cent now what does a failed move equals a false move in the opposite direction mean well it simply means if this was a successful move we would have back tested and gone up to our price target we didn't do that we broke up we emmed out and broke down so that is a failed move and a failed move equals a fast move in the opposite direction so as you can see we had the failed move and we are very very quickly moving down right now so algo on the four hourly time frame has only just in the past four hours or so broken down from these ema ribbons so i really would not enter a trade on algo at this moment in time you can see bitcoin is breaking down very strongly and I talked about this in some of my videos, we've got a huge, huge multi-year Bitcoin fractal trending back to before the previous bull market. We've got data traded on this since August 2017 and, you know, the fractal didn't play out exactly as it did before. We've still got strong support down here at 29,000. So what does that mean? Could Bitcoin break down further to 29,000? It is seeming more likely uh, with every minute that we're putting in trading volume you can see volume on bitcoin is exceptionally bearish volume on algorand right now is exceptionally bearish and you know if if we were coming down and we were kind of rounding out and losing volume then that could be a sign that the bottom is near but when you see us rolling down and volume increases it's typically a sign that the bottom is not near so i wouldn't be trying to catch a falling knife on our ground right now it does seem like we are breaking bearish unfortunately i don't really like using the one hourly ema ribbons uh because as you can see fake out fake out fake out fake out fake out um, fake out there's more fake outs than actually accurate data on the one hourly time frame so I just don't really use it at all but nonetheless you're seeing a short fire right now on the one hourly time frame which I don't think is a fake out because it is heavily supported by a huge influx of volume you can see the last time we had a short one hour into the short we fired bearish volume and as soon as it shorted you can see this is where the volume was there was no volume but alternatively, you can see this is as soon as we went short and the volume increased. What happened the next couple of hours? Huge, huge increase in volume. So I would not be trying to catch the falling knife on the four hourly time frame. If we do keep on breaking down, then we are going to landslide. Drawing a Fibonacci, you can see we've just broken down below the 0.5 Fibonacci. So I would expect Algorand to at least come down to your 618. The way that the markets are reacting, I find it more likely that we'd be coming down to 59 cent, which is your 786 Fibonacci. So I'm going to mark these orange because uh, if you're new to my channel, I mark all of my Fibonacci's orange just to differentiate them from support and resistance. For example, you can see, you know, this uptrending level of support is now resistance. This was resistance, so it is red lines. But for my Fibonacci's, I put them in orange just so if I need to clear up my chart, I can see, okay, we've got two trend lines here. These must be Fibonacci's. Let's check that they're correct. And then there we go. So this is where I think we're coming down to in the short term for Algorand. I do think 63 cent is on the table, which, you know, boohoo, we're coming down another 3%. Really not the big deal. But if we do not hold 63 cent, a move underway to 59 cent is another 10% drop. And I feel like it could get worse than that. The point of the matter is 
I really wouldn't want to be predicting too much what's going to be going on with altcoins because I really think it's degenerative and perhaps the wrong thing to do to be looking at DCAing altcoins right now. That is just my opinion. Your opinion might be different. Your trading plan is obviously different. Everyone's trading plan is different. But for me, my trading plan, what is best for myself at this moment in time, only you can say what is best for your trading plan. I can't answer that for you. Uh, but for me, what makes the most sense in my trading plan is looking at Bitcoin, looking at the stock market, looking at the dollar, recognizing that all of these markets are bearish. The dollar is bullish, by the way, which means that stock market and crypto markets are ergo going to be bearish. But I'm looking at Bitcoin and we've got tons of selling volume coming into this breakdown. This means that, in my opinion, the bottom is not in yet. I, I think we really could be breaking down and seeing a capitulation event today. I have already been buying around this 33,000 level. So, you know, worst comes to worst, I've already bought the dip, but I am saving some capital in case Bitcoin moves down to 29,000. I think if it's going to happen, it's going to happen today when the stock market drops. So we've got a lot of things to take into account today. I really do not think it's going to be a smart idea to DCA into algo right now i could be wrong we could come down to the 618 and then boom we could go on a ball run for algorand i don't really think that's going to happen i am a fan of algo in the long term i do hold some algo for the long term i love the partnerships they've been having recently i think they had a partnership with australia zoo it was steve Irwin gave them a cosign and also they, they've got um they've got an nft project coming out i'm pretty sure it's with australia zoo um, but nonetheless, they also had the FIFA partnership. There's, there's just genuinely a lot of bullish things going on the Algorand blockchain, which is why I think they've been able to hold themselves up so well. So am I saying you should never pick up Algorand again? That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying this week is going to be a very important week for Bitcoin. You can tell, I mean, you don't have to be a genius. Look at this macro chart. We're breaking below this huge level of support. A big move is coming. We're about to confirm this being a bottom and we're going to go into a bull market or we're going to come down to 29,000 then that is a bear market confirmed why is it a bear market confirmed every single bear market in bitcoin's history meant that we came down to the bottom of the logarithmic growth curves and we're literally at the bottom of the logarithmic growth curves right now so if we look at this if we do touch this trend line at uh, 32,600 it is confirmed that we have just experienced a bear market um, otherwise would you not call this a bear market would you not call this a bear market because this is where we count came down to previously if we hit 325 and we pretty much already have then it is confirmed that we've been in the bear market and if this is bear market done would have been the shortest bear market of all time so a lot of very very key things going on i would be sitting on the sidelines for algorand bear in mind i already do hold a bit of algo i'm putting my money where my mouth is i think bitcoin is going to outperform a lot of these cryptos in the next week or so and that's already what we're seeing algo's down 10 percent today i'm mainly in bitcoin bitcoin's only down three percent so it's been a good day if you have been holding bitcoin over algorand it's been a good day if you've been in bitcoin over all of these altcoins which is pretty much what i've been doing so be very cautious for algo your oscillators are very overextended on the daily since the last rally higher time frames we could still go up more but i i would really look at what's going on in the markets because you know you can see macro time frame algorand is breaking below the lows and technically if i flip this now we're really in price discovery to the downside it, at least in the local terms you can see if i flip this these were your local tops we've broken above it we've back tested it and we're now back above it so i'd be very cautious i really do think looking at these inverse charts it may seem a bit degenerative but it gives you a, a different edge in the market you're able to take out a lot of um, emotions and pretend this is a new chart i also see an inverse head and shoulders which is a bullish signal but bear in mind I flipped this to the inverse time frame, which is why I mean flipping the t flipping the chart sometimes helps you see patterns that you previously may not have seen them being there. And this inverse head and shoulders is pretty huge. We're just having this big breakdown right now, so be very very cautious trading Algorand at this moment in time. Be very very cautious trading uh, trading altcoins in general at this moment in time. I do think altcoins are going to continue to get wrecked against Bitcoin today, but I would be waiting for the stock market to open. So that's all I've got for Algo. I think we're moving down to at least, at least 63 cent if we do break below it. 59 cent does seem to be the price on the table. If we do break below there, 
we really don't have much support until 50 cent so it could get very very ugly in, in the short term from your most recent impulse we've taken out the low so your your macro fibonacci that we would now be running off has also been invalidated to the downside huge huge macro fib uh, I, I really can't draw it from down here because it seems like we had very very brutal uh, retest so in my opinion the most recent macro uptrend started right here seems like we had a macro retest uh, retest at this point and then went back up so like i said be very cautious we've invalidated everything to the upside it does seem like in the short term algo wants to have further price targets to the downside that's all i've got for algo as always not financial advice cowboy out peace